Hello and welcome back. It's another Scratch tutorial. This one is going to be a real quick one. It's basically just revision from the first lesson, lesson one, Fish Swim. Um, let's uh, let's run the game. See what happens here. And uh oh, looks like this time our fish is becoming shark food. So that shark's, shark's coming right for the fish and eating the fish. Um, and just like before, pressing the keys. I can't move out the way. I've got no code for moving whatsoever. So I guess you've guessed what your job is going to be already. Um, you're probably wondering all this code here and thinking, what's all that? Looks really complicated. And like I said before, don't worry about the code that I've given you to begin with. You're going to understand all of this in time and probably a lot quicker than you imagine right now. So I'm just going to move that out the way. That's all code to do with um, the shark and being eaten by the shark. But we'll, we'll get to that in later videos. For now, um, okay, we've got this problem I can't, can't move out the way. Well, if you've watched uh, lesson one, then you should know how we can make a character or a, a sprite. If you look down here, the uh, name for these characters, the things, the things in our game, um, they're often called sprites in computer programming and game making. So do you remember how to make a character move? Have a think. Okay, have you remembered? Yes, we go to events and I want, I want this code block about pressing the key, key pressed. So I'm just going to put that in and uh, let's start by moving, moving to the right. Um, now, what's next? I need to move. So move Another word for move is motion. Now I'm moving right. Can you remember which one we want to use for that? We've got two options, X and Y. So which one is about moving left or right? Have a think. Well done if you remember that it's X. Now, if you haven't had a chance to watch the special video about coordinates, I'd recommend that because that goes into a bit more detail about this X and Y and how it works. Um, but for now, yes, if we want to move right, we're changing X by 10. You can change that number. Let's, let's run and see what we've got going on. And well, fish is kind of swimming backwards, getting out the way, but <gasps> ah, didn't move our way quick enough. And the fact we can only move right doesn't really help. Might, might be good if I could kind of move up out the way. So I'm going to go back to events and same one again. Drag it over here. This time I want the up arrow and I want to move. So that's motion and moving up. Yes, I'm changing, changing Y. Let's have a look at this. And oh, the shark came really fast that time. Better have another go. So I can move up, but I moved up right, right into the shark. Let's move back and back and up and up. Ah, oh, the shark still got me. So moving right and moving up, perhaps that enough, not enough. I actually need to move left and down so I can move in all four directions. So that's going to be your challenge. Can you now code your fish to move to the left and to move down? So pause the video. Have a go at that, uh, come back when you're finished, or if you get a bit stuck, then I'm going to talk you through the rest of it. So pause now. Okay, welcome back. Did you manage it? Is your fish moving up, down, left and right? Well done if you did. If you need some help, well that's what I'm going to do now. Let's start by moving to the left. So yes, it's events and this same block again and I'm going to choose the left arrow and it's still motion left and right is about changing X so I want that one but I want to move to the left so this time I'm moving by negative 10 or minus 10 let's let's check that yes now I can move to the right I can move up I think I survived a bit longer that time so if you remembered moving left you need to have minus 10 change x by minus 10 very well done and let's 
let's finish it off by moving down. Same block again, and the down arrow, up and down, that's changing y, and because I want to move down, that's minus 10. Okay, yes, I'm managing to move right and up and left. Ah, oh, I still got eaten by the fish. Let's have another look. Yep, I can now move. Oh, I'm going to have to play it again. Now I can move up, down, left, and right. So if you manage that on your own, very well done. If you needed a bit of help, don't worry. Um, if you're not too sure, why not, why not delete these blocks? You can just delete them like that and have another go at it. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.